here we are at the Squint home screen. Uh, one of the things that you'll see throughout our product is that we tried to make it really easy for anybody to use. Uh, in speaking to our earliest customers, we learned that uh, the biggest barrier to adoption for new technology on the floor is really usernames and passwords. So we added a feature called Login with Badge. You can actually click that and it pulls up a camera. You can swipe your badge in front of it and it recognizes who you are and logs you in. So now operators can actually use the same method that they use to get into buildings to get into Squint. Um, what you see here is a list of area maps. So these would be, obviously this is like a demo instance, this is my house, things around my house, but this would be things in your factory floor. So it could be machines, it could be zones, just depends on how you label it. Um, but anything can be mapped, there's no size limitation, um, and any content can be attached to that. So let's start off by looking at this lotto board. I have one in my room, so I'm going to hit enter area map, and it pulls up my camera, it tells me what to match my camera to. So simply going to look at it, and it immediately detects where it is, and these notes come up. So you can actually see as I click this, uh, it shows me who wrote it at the bottom, when it was written, and any context. Anybody can add notes. So there's another one down here. It's really easy to create. So I can say there's a pinch point here. Um, and I could add a photo if I wanted to. In this case, I just want to pin it. Let's say I want to put it here. It's kind of like a digital sticky note on the back of your phone. So what you do is you tap your phone where you want it to go, and you tap pin. And that's it. Now this note is stuck on this handle right where I wanted everyone to know there's a pinch point. Um, what we've seen with our customers is that there's a big benefit here around operator to operator communication across shift, across department. It's like a, it's a really descriptive sticky note, right? So there's, a, there's context to it. You can add photos, you can add videos, and you've really stuck it on a machine in a, kind of a digital world. Um, so that's what Squint allows on the note side. On the bottom right, you see a procedures button. I'm going to click that. And what you see is a list of procedures associated with this machine. So in my case, uh, there's a gate valve lockout. I'm going to hit play there. Um, I'm going to draw your attention to the middle of the screen where it actually says turn left 4.7 feet. You see this is actually a live number. It's changing as I move. And there's a compass, and it's taking me to where I need to be for step one. Um, directly ahead. So I walk up to this and it says, hey, locate the gate valve cover. I have a picture. This is all content that was created by a supervisor, um, a manager, training department, things like that. Um, so I've got the cover. I hit next and it takes me to step two where it says to attach this cover and watch this video. So I can actually click through. In this case, it's a YouTube video, but you could link to a uh, an MMS system for a job order. Uh, we've had customers linked to diagrams, other OEM videos, things like that. Basically anything someone might need um, attached to this thing at the time that they're doing this procedure. So now that I know how to do this, I'm gonna clip that on and I'll move on to the last step, which is not pinned and it's actually just a question. So it says, did you successfully attach the gate valve cover? Obviously I did, so I'm gonna hit yes and hit done. But uh, I just want to note that here, uh, that last step is actually really flexible. It could have been a multiple choice question, uh, multi-select, single select, a short answer. Uh, if they need to do a gauge reading, it could have captured the reading values. Um, you can ask them to submit a photo for evidence, signature. It's very flexible and it's completely customizable. So anybody can build what you need. We've had customers build trainings out of it, and we've had different customers build um, maintenance collection forms where uh, in order to standardize the input into the MMS system, they ask maintenance people to simply just use Squint um, and answer the questions along the way, and it all gets captured. The data is actually exportable. So if I go here, I can export to an email, and it sends, us, sends you a spreadsheet you can take that and actually pump that into things like Power BI, make an executive dashboard, and keep track of what's happening on your floor by capturing data from human actions. Um, and we found that that's really powerful and impactful to people around maintenance training operations. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching this demo.
Okay, so we're going to actually go ahead and create the area map and the procedure that we just saw. So at the bottom, I'm going to click plus area map. And here it asks me if I'm in front of it. I am. Um, you see the screen come up and there's a record button. So I'm going to start recording. And all I do is I place these cubes where I want Squint to capture the area. Now I simply color them in. I'm going to go ahead and do this six times. So I color them all in. And what's happening here is Squint is actually mapping this space. So as you do this, it learns how to recognize the space from several angles. And it has, you, it has you do this six times. So this is pass number four. You can actually see my progress on the bottom there. And all I'm doing is I'm moving my phone around. And this is what allows Squint to really uniquely be able to detect things um, very precisely without a QR code or a 3D model. So just like that, mapping is complete. So I'm going to name it my lockout tagout board. There's a typo. And once I'm done, I can enter it. So just like before, the image comes up. And as I look around, just like that, I entered. So now I'm here. I'm going to go to procedures. Procedures are actually empty, so I'm going to go ahead and create a procedure. And we're going to call it the gate valve lockout, just like before. I'm going to add steps. So step one, grab the gate valve cover. And in this case, you can actually see I can add media. So this plus button, I'm going to click that and it brings up the option to add a photo or video, um, either from my library or record a new one. So I'll take one live here. And what I'll do is I'll grab this, I'll take a quick picture of it. We'll use that photo. And we're going to go down, we're going to add a pin. So I want to pin this step right here. And in the background, Squint is able to create that navigation that you saw before. So I don't have to do anything else. I've created step one. Let's add step two. So here um, we'll say attach cover to valve. Um, and in this case, let's add a video. So let's record a little video of how to do it. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to hit record. And I'm simply going to demonstrate because a video is so much better as a learning tool. So I've added a video of how to attach the cover. Um, in this case, I'm going to add a pin again, and I'm just going to pin it over here where the gate valve cover needs to be. I'll hit save. And now we've got two steps in this procedure. Let's add our final step. Did you successfully attach the cover? And in this case, let's make it a form. So I'm going to click create a form because we want them to fill out an answer. And I have the option of doing a multiple choice, a short answer, a photo upload, or a number input. So in this case, I'm going to click multiple choice. And I'll hit yes as one option and no as my other. So I've given them two options. And at the bottom, you actually see there's the option to make it required. I'm going to do that because I want everybody to answer this question. And we'll add the form. So this is our step. We've got our question. We've got our answer choices. Um, I'm not going to add a pin at this time because this is just a general question and it doesn't pertain to any space. And we'll save. So we've made our procedure. Let's hit save. Squint is going to upload this in the background. So you give it a second here. It's going to upload that photo, that video, and create the procedure so anybody can play it back. Now we're done. Let's test it. So. I'm going to hit play, and just like that, you see our step come up. We've got our picture. We've got our directions. I can move to step two. We've got our video here, and step three, we've got our question. So that's it. It's that easy to create an area map and a procedure right in Squint.